So I initially came from Jamaica. So I was a student athlete, got a full scholarship at the University of Hartford. Met my wife at the University of Hartford freshman year. I uh, got uh, several injuries and stuff while I was playing at the University of Hartford. Lost my scholarship that first year. Very devastating. Wasn't sure if I was gonna go back to Jamaica, um, but I know that wasn't the ideal path. So, you know, with the assistance of, you know, some close people that I knew, um, I was able to see scholarship all the way in Oklahoma. <laughs> So I went to Oklahoma, finished up my uh, undergraduate degree. Uh, once I graduated, my wife was a, a year ahead of me, you know, so she was already working at Yale. So we decided as opposed to her coming where I was at to start life, it would be best for me to transition back here in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. When I came to UV, it felt really like a family. Everyone was very involved and I was just like, you know, this is ideal for me. For the first few years, I was just like any student. I would just, you know, get off work you know, come in at night, take classes, and just jump in my car and go home. Uh, I remember meeting Professor Cahill for the first time in one of my graduate classes. And, you know, we were doing an assignment, a business plan class. During that class, we are doing a very complex business model, which is one of my business called Moola Investment Group. I don't want to fail. I'm just going to pause this and we pick it up at some other time. And she was very insistent, like, no, you're not going to stop. You know, keep going. I understand that this is very challenging compared to the smaller, you know, ideas that other kids are doing. But keep going, I understand it, don't stop. I won Google Tech competitions, you never never saw myself as a tech guy, you know. But we came first place, you know, a big, big honors for myself, and then also a big honor for UB, you know. Uh, so for, from there on, we just kept tinkering with different ideas. And then we decided you know, we're gonna start something else, which is, you know, Black Bottle. So just to start off, Black, it represents bona fide love, advancing cultural change. And we came with that idea in uh, 2020, right? When there was a lot of like chaos in you know, social justice stuff that was going on. And we just identified to one basic thing, you know, people need love just as much as they need water. You know, so bona fide love, advancing culture change. If we can approach life with just the basic element of love, I think we can um, mitigate a lot of the differences that we have in life. Everyone drinks water, right? So why not use a water bottle as, as, a, as a vessel to kind of transport our message of positivity, love, and unity? So we decided to launch our stainless steel water bottle company. We looked at it, there's not much minorities playing within that space, so there's a huge opportunity there. And we took it a bit further. If we do become successful, we want to ensure that giving back is at the premise and the core of what we're doing. Offers offered this internship over the summer with Black Bottle. Through this internship, I was able to work with an up-and-coming business that was made through entrepreneurs. And since I already had an idea of what it's like being an entrepreneur, it was a great experience for me to learn actually from being there and being involved in you know, helping this business grow. And we recently secured a partnership with NBA Lab. So with that partnership, now we have the ability where we can brand our bottles with NBA logos, and that's gonna open us to a wider market. And now we're finalizing a deal with Fanatics, which is the number one um, licensed sport merchandise you know, in the world. I found the appetite and really fell in love with business. You know, and one thing, business is a system, and I feel like I was learning so much, I was hungry for more.